Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another Sims 4 real estate episode, episode 6. Uh, this is my Suburbia Modern. Uh, but before we get into today's episode, I just want to remind everybody again that in the description box of this video is links and resources to help with the Black Lives Matter movement. I have several links in the description box below that you can go to that go to several websites that tell you how you can help with the Black Lives Matter movement, whether that's signing petitions, calling your state and local leaders, donating, you know, so on and so forth. And then I have links to videos that you can watch where the monetization ad slash revenue of the uh, video goes towards Black Lives Matter movement organizations. So. I hope you uh, check that out in the description box below. I hope you click on the links uh, because if you're poor like me, uh, watching those videos is basically donating to the cause. So uh, watching is donating. So anyways, I hope you click on all of those links, the videos and the links to the other websites. And uh, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so here we are with my Suburbia Modern. Um, it's kind of like my take on the suburban white picket fence style homes that you usually would see in, you know, suburbia. Thus the name Suburbia Modern. As you can see, the outside has, you know, white um, picket fences with, you know, you know, plants and open windows that let in a lot of light. Uh, along with a gate to the front uh, yard. It also has that white uh, wooden paneling on the outside of the home. And as we go through the front door here, this is kind of what the foyer looks like. And if you turn to the right, this is kind of what the living room looks like, which is a brown carpeting, kind of like a beige uh, painted wall. Uh, this is kind of like how the furniture and everything is styled inside of the home. Uh, this is the living room to be more exact. And this is the kitchen, which has kind of like a similar inlay, except it has wooden paneling walls and marble flooring, uh, which is sort of covered up with that big white rug, but it's all very uh, chic and modern looking uh, with the latest um, appliances. It has a small little kitchen nook area and if you go to the left when you enter in through the front door, you will see we're in the dining room, which has hard wooden flooring and wood and, um, you know, cased walls. And uh, this is kind of the view from the window, as you can see. It's the dining area um, and has pictures and art and all the dining stuff you would normally see in a dining room. And as we come down the hallway, which again has uh, wooden uh, flooring and wooden paneling on the side, we enter into the office of this home. It has kind of like a mini library there where you can sit and read, as well as the computer to do all your office style work, and where your sims can look up on the computer or earn a living and so on. And here's kind of like a little nook area crevice where there's tools where your sims can go and take that and do gardening outside in the backyard. As we're about to see, this is the backyard. You have a like little uh, area where your sims can eat and barbecue along with a little area where they can sit and read or, you know, shade themselves from the sunlight. They have a little place where they can garden. Um, and again, you see the same, it's like the white picket fences, the same outside wooden white tiling, open a uh, window to let light in, some trees. And as we come up the stairs, uh, we have that same uh, hallway uh, wooden flooring and wooden uh, wall tiling up on the second floor, along with some artwork. And here's the hallway going down to the two uh, master bedrooms, the master bedroom on the left and the master bedroom on the right. The master bedroom on the right has a very like teal look to it with white carpeting. Um, it has a very like teal, you know, vibe to it with all teal furniture, teal walls, um, very teal accents. 
and as you can see the bathroom the master bathroom to this first bedroom has the spa rock tiling walls with concrete flooring again windows that let in light and very modern chic looking um, you know bathroom and the opposite bedroom has teal walls with white flooring but blue accented furniture to give it that really modern style feel and uh, that too is uh, accented like I said with the blue and it has a master bedroom with the same rock spa tiling walls and concrete flooring with modern chic furniture to give it that upscale like bathroom feel and uh, as you can see it has the same look as the other master bedroom just the opposite like mirror image of it and we're kind of getting an outside look so you can see what the roof looks like and what it looks like if you were to place it say on this specific lot and this is kind of like an overall look of what it looks like it does give you a very um, suburbia type feel and uh, I like it so I think you will like it too it's one of my more simple um, builds in the Sims 4 and this two bedroom two bath mat uh, yeah two bedroom two bath uh, suburbia modern is about 200,000 simoleons and you can find it up under the gallery just look up the hashtag Doberman girl 17 and make sure to include custom content when you look it up anyways I want to thank you guys for watching another Sims 4 real estate episode episode 6 again I want to remind you guys that the black lives matter links and resources in the is in the description box of this video so please do go check them out and um, I want to thank you guys for watching my content uh, I know today was kind of a short episode but that's how it goes sometimes uh, like I said you can find this up on the gallery on the Sims 4 gallery just look up the hashtag Doberman girl 17 and make sure to include custom content because sometimes I don't know if stuff is marked with that or not so just make sure to check that when you look up the hashtag Doberman girl 17 so you can look up all of my builds anyways thank you guys for watching uh, feel free to like comment and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so again I just want to remind you once again uh, the links and resources to the Black Lives Matter um, movement is in the description box below uh, just click on them so you can help with the Black Lives Matter movement anyways thank you guys for watching and I will see everyone next time bye